guys, this is what the heck reviews. Today we're looking at Think Fun's code series, but the one we're going to be focusing on the most today is Rover, Rover Control. Learn, wait. Okay, so Rover Control teaches control structures through single or collaborative gameplay. So let's get this thing open. So what we have here is the solution booklet, the instruction manual, which we won't be touching since we kinda already read the instructions, the challenge booklet, and four terrains that go from easy to expert, We also have these other pieces that we're going to be putting on our challenge booklet, but since we're not there yet, we will put these back. We have our markers. And we have Rover 1 and Rover 2. So Jenny, how does this game play? Well, I'll show you our challenge booklet. So what this challenge has asked for us to do is move the rover from block seven to block nine in one, two, three moves. It also tells us that we have to color in four spots. So, you say like that you're it's blue. There we go. So it says for us to do this right here where it shows where the blocks are, the color dim. So if I were to move here, it'd be way too many spots. If I were to move here, it'd be too little. So what I would have to do is move from seven up one, two, three spots. But wait, it says that we have to have red, blue, and then red again. So we have to make sure that the colors correlate so that they like all go together. So it would be red, blue, which is convenient because it's already there, and then red again. And what do you have it? It looks like we finally got to space nine. Correctly. In three moves. You should have said, but just to make sure we're right, let's check this one. We're gonna do that in a second. So let's check challenge one and it has exactly what we said which is red blue and then red again so it looks like we won and we finished the first challenge so when you get to more advanced levels you might not come up with the same solution as the solution booklet has but don't let that worry you because this is more of something just to help you when you get stumped so let me get this straight. Let me try. Let's see how this works. All right. So I would have to get from zero to four, right? Yep. Only using these colors. Let me see. And so we have, and, and these spots have to be colored in with the color that it says. So yep. this one and this one are red and then Eight and six, eight or nine, eight and nine. I have to use what I have to get from zero to four in four moves. So I'm guessing I would have to use the red that I have here. So zero, zero, I'm gonna go red. And then I need green. Two. Then I need a blue. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, I need. See, so move one, two, three, four, five moves, and you have to only use four moves. So you need to use it too many. I think I got it this time. I think it would go one, then green, another green. Yep, looks like you got it right. 
let's see cello. So I will go this way, red, then we'll go green, then blue, then green. So now I'll take the solution. Two and so I, we got that one right. As we move through the game, there are going to be more advanced and complex puzzles, which will include charging stations and checkpoints and lots of other things, but that's more in the advanced and expert levels. But it becomes more self-explanatory as you move on. I really recommend this game for kids because I think that it really helps them with this level of coding and show and even for people that don't like code, it's just a fun puzzle to play with. And I just think it's like a really fun game. It is recommended for ages eight and up, but even some adults will like this game. Cause some people just like to co do coding, some people like puzzles, and it involves all that kind of stuff. So I, I, I score it about out of 10, one to 10, I will give it a, an eight. Give it a nine. I think it's like a pretty fun game that lots of people like. So yeah, I give it a nine. This is Code by I Think. This is Rover Control Code by Think Fun. And this has been what the. There we go. So the uh, it's, it's 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 open already. Let's go. Okay. So, what you have to do is get from the spot that it tells you to be to another Stop. spot. So, what we'll have to do is open our chat. 